my sampling most likely comes from like Madlib and Dilla, like on some real shit. Yeah, I used to listen to them like heavy. So I used to bump the Quasimodo album like all the time and fucking um what was that shit called, nigga? I forgot what that shit was called. It was the one where like not the one where he has the brick, but it's like a car in it. Fuck, why was that shit called? I'm about to Google that shit. I think it was called the Unseen. Why should it be called the Unseen? I think it is, yeah. Quasimoto. Yeah, it is the Unseen. That shit's fire. Go bump that shit. It is Madlib. Madlib is the producer, and then he started rapping under an alias called Quasimodo or Quasi. It's Moto because it's with a T, but like Quasimodo. And then so that's like a little character. It's like this artwork or some shit, and like he does like he pitches his voice, and then it's just like fire. It's like a whole art ego. It's just like how Doom has like some of his shit. MF Doom is like he'll be rapping, but the producer says like metal fingers or some shit, and niggas do shit like that. Dilla Dilla is from Detroit. I know that. Jay Dilla, R. Peter Dilla, he's that nigga died. He died from like um, I think he died from cancer or some shit. Sad, sad shit. But that nigga was a force. He did mad work before he died. You know? Like he was working with mad shit. He worked with Slum Village. He worked with fucking Common. He worked with um, who else, nigga? I think uh, I want to say Kanye, but that's a force. I don't think he ever worked with Kanye. But Kanye, like Dilla, there's no Kanye without Dilla. I don't think there is no relation. But like, I know Dilla is a fucking hey, influence to call it um to Kanye. If if Kanye ever says that Dilla is not an influence, it's like that nigga's a capper and a liar. But I'm telling you that right now, Dilla influences mad niggas in the fucking game. Any nigga makes beats, bro. Like, every nigga who make beats, bro, probably one of the first drum kits you got, nigga, was the J Dilla drum kit. You know, funny shit. Almost all you niggas have that shit for making beats. And if you hand out that shit, bro, I don't know, nigga. Fuck, you got on some music too late. Cause a lot of niggas when they first started making beats was making like the boom bap shit thing. When you want to make the um lo-fi shit and the boom bap shit, you got on that J Dilla drum kit, my nigga. Real shit. Shout out to Doom too. I I fuck with Doom, but I don't think he's one of my. Yeah, yeah like type shit. I fuck with Doom, but I don't see how I influenced by him. Um, as far as production wise, bro. I was just listening to a lot of boom bap, so I wanted to make boom bap too. Okay, man. And then like as time went on, just like I just started making different shit. Like I was just like. I'm trying to think what really like because like before i was just like very anti-trap too like when i first started making music i was like i'm never gonna make trap music and none of that shit and i still don't think any music that i make is trap music i just use 808s now but like i was just like i started using 808s because i wanted that shit to bump like niggas was like yeah, you need some bassing and shit and i was just like yeah you're right um as far as like production with my like i'll tell you this much my 808s I'm very influenced by like fucking, I'll probably say like Southside and fucking nigga, like Young Chop, bro. funny shit, bro. Like as far as 808s and shit go, cause like, and like, just, I'm working on dying niggas, I know funny shit. And they influence me a lot, cause I'm um, fucking, the way they do this, like they have, they have this style called Tread, and like it's just a bunch of fast ass 808 music. And like, I won't make my music as fast, but like I'll put mad 808s in my shit, like, my key signature is like my bass, like that's one thing like my bass is just always a force. I always make that shit slap. So it's just like yeah.